What's up guys, Dylan here with Westy Outdoors. Today I wanted to make a video going over all of the tackle and my rods, reels that I purchased over the uh, quarantine here. So I've got this big box full of baits. Um, I've got two boxes I purchased off of Carl's. Uh, these were awesome. And then uh, <clears throat> at the end I'll go over the uh, mystery tackle box for this month. And then I got a, uh, a couple other things I wanted to go over. Um, but yeah, let's get, uh, let's get started. Uh, so most recently I purchased uh, two packs of these 10,000 fish saw craws. Uh, this, this color is the summer craw and I got a blue craw and then in the mail they're still sending me, I got a uh, smoke achobe coming in the mail. So here is the summer craw, hopefully it focuses. Uh, so the summer craw is like a green pumpkin t style color there and then it's got a lot of black flake in it and then the bottom is a lighter green. I really like these because the the appendages on them remind me a lot of the uh, Guggenbait Kraken Craw, which I really love. I love the action that bait gives off, so I figured I'd I'd buy some of these and give them a shot. So, and then here is that blue craw color. So that's got a blue, very blue underside to it. And then again, that pepper flake in it. Uh, but yeah, I'll use these mostly probably for jig trailers. Um, I'll occasionally, I'll throw them on a Texas rig. Uh, but I'll mainly probably use these a lot for jig trailers. <clears throat> Next, we got a package of watermelon red flake Guggenbait Bandito Bugs. Uh, I have not used these yet. But I have seen a lot of videos of people just completely destroying fish with these. So yeah, this is a watermelon red flake. I'm a huge fan of watermelon red flake. I get a lot of my baits in watermelon red flake. I like to stick to that. Uh, stick to like watermelon red flake or watermelon color or uh, green pumpkin a lot um, more natural colors. Uh, next up um, I got two packs of the X-Zone Ned Zones. Uh, this one is Craw Lamb color and this one is Watermelon Red Flake once again. So here's that that craw lamb color looks like a crawfish. Uh, this will be awesome this spring. Um, bouncing this off of the bottom, uh, smallmouth fishing. Uh, this Ned, this is like the perfect Ned lure uh, in my eyes. It's a perfect length. Uh, it's got a little extra weight on the end here, but so yeah, that'll fish upside down like that. This will this will have a lot of action to it. This will be awesome this spring, for sure. Next up, so my favorite my favorite style of fishing is uh, throwing a drop shot. So I was on Carl's bait and tackle and came across these big bite smally smashers. Uh, this one is a green pumpkin, orange, black, pearl, uh, blue. And this one is uh, called the Chick Magnet. <clears throat> now this Chick Magnet one I'm actually pretty excited about. Uh, these imitated goby very well. If you can see that. So yeah, these will imitate a goby very well. They got that pearl bottom and they got that kind of like copper flake in there. And uh, it's like a green, greenish pumpkin, uh, purple flake, copper flake, uh, this tail has a nice paddle on the end so you can honestly just leave that sit down there you wouldn't even have to put any action on this and that current underwater 
uh, is going to move this thing around very nicely. So I'm excited to throw these. Uh, throw those on smallmouth for sure. That'll be an awesome bait this summer. Now this is the other color I bought. Uh, this is that green pumpkin orange black uh, pearl with blue flake. This one reminds me more of like a bluegill color. It's got that blue underside and it's got that green pumpkin with some flake in there. Uh, this one I'll probably throw more along um, like a uh, Throw it around docks, throw it around weed lines and stuff, more shallow areas for largemouth bass. Um, I will also throw this deep for smallmouth though too, but I'll probably stick to that chick magnet more for that. Next up, uh, I got two packages of Carl's Amazing Baits. Uh, these are the Hustler Worms. These are both 7 inch. Uh, this one's a watermelon candy color. It's basically kind of like a watermelon red flake, but it's got purple and green flake in there. And then this one is a green pumpkin seed, which is basically just a green pumpkin with a lot of pepper flake in it. Uh, these will both be awesome. I can't wait to use these uh, on a Texas rig this summer. Uh, I told myself I was going to throw some more Texas rig worms this summer. I slacked on it last year, and I don't know why, because I've had success a lot in the past on a Texas rig worm. So I'm excited to get to use those this summer for that. Next up, I got a couple different types of swim baits here. Uh, I got the 3.8 inch Guggen Saucy Swimmers. Uh, these are the electric shad color. Um, these will imitate a shad or a bluegill very well. This color is awesome. It's got a great color to it. The scent on these is incredible. You can smell them very strong. <laughs> it's got a very strong scent. You can smell them from a ways away. And then the other swim baits I bought are these Exo Swim 4 inch swim baits by Biospawn. I've actually, I think I got some more of these coming in the mail. Um, I, I have. A lot of stuff coming from Biospawn actually I ordered. I got some actual ribbons, I got some of their uh, wacky rig worms, I can't remember what the exact name of those are called. Um, but I believe I still have some more of these coming in the mail. But this color is fantastic as well, it's just a nice natural color, nothing crazy. It's got that white underbelly. Uh, you see most bait fish have white underbellies so this swimming above a bass looking up they see that white and they're gonna go attack that so these I'm gonna probably throw a lot as trailers on um, spinner baits uh, I will put these and use them as a swim bait on their own um, but a lot of times I'm probably gonna throw these as a trailer on a spinner bait uh, great trailers for swimmer bait, or swimmer bait. Swimmer bait. Uh, they got a lot of action in that paddle tail so Perfect trailers. So I bought off of Carl's as well. I bought two Bill Lewis rattle traps. Uh, I got a regular size. This is a red crawfish color, uh, which will be really nice in the springtime here. You bounce this off the rocks down deep where the smallmouth are. And then I also bought, the only reason I bought the mini was because I wanted this candy craw color specifically. Uh, this color's insane in the light there it's hard to tell there's a glare coming off but um, so this I figured I'd try the mini one out anyways but um, yeah again this will be awesome to throw in the springtime here uh, them smallmouth like 15 20 feet of water still uh, hanging out by the rocks these will be awesome to bang off the rocks because that's where crawfish are you know they're bouncing off them rocks uh, and that's what smallmouth are eating. So, next up, I bought two of the Guggenbait Scout jerk baits. Now these dive four to six feet. Um, this one on top is a pro pro blue color, and the one on the bottom is a sexy sexy shad. Uh, both fairly natural colors. Um, these are going to be awesome also in the springtime here, uh, colder water, or, uh, you know, overcast days. Um, 
But yeah, these these will imitate bait fish super well. Uh, the colors are great. The, the sun's going to reflect off of them, uh, make some shine on them. So yeah, make a lot of noise. Another good bait. Next up, so I've I've uh, become a part of the Titan Tungsten team. Uh, I purchased some weights from them. So I got some half ounce drop shot weights. I got a bunch of other ones from them, but I have them put away in my boat already. So I bought another pack of the half ounce drop shot weights. Um, and then I've got... So these are the worm weights I purchased. I got a 3 16 ounce, a 3 8 ounce, and then a 1 16 ounce pack of the worm weights. Uh, these are going to be awesome. I've already used the drop shot weights. They got the non-chip coating on them. Uh, that holds up actually very well. Um, so I'm excited to put these worm weights to use. I also have a pack of flipping weights in a quarter ounce size. And I do have... Um, I just put in an order two days ago for, um, they just came out this week with some Ned Heads. So I'm excited to get those because I was actually looking to purchase some EWG Ned Heads. Uh, so I bought EWG from them and then normal ones, for just regular standard Ned Heads. And then they also have, um, they make a weedless one too. So if you go on Titan Tungsten's website and go check that out, they make a great quality weight. I believe that they use Gamakatsu hooks on the Neds too. I saw that. So go check them out. All right, so next I'll go through these boxes that I bought off of Carl's. Um, these, they always, they always have different boxes up, uh, different stuff thrown together in boxes. If you go to their website and you go to the tackle section, I believe it's under other and they will have a whole bunch of different boxes you can buy from them. Uh, this one's the pre-spawn pack that I purchased. When I bought it, there were only two left, so they're not on the site anymore, unfortunately. But I paid $24.50 for this box. Um, I already have one bait taken out that I'm already using. It's a Z-Man spinner bait. Uh, but the rest of the stuff in here, so we'll start out. We got a Booyah lipless crank. And uh, this color is chrome black. So this is a perfect bait fish color. Um, I'm excited to use this bait. It's got loud rattles, super flashy. This will be an awesome bait for the summer. Next, we got a Guggen Squad Junior Scout. So this is the smaller version of the other Scout that I've got. Uh, the other ones I purchased, those have three hooks. This is uh, this has two hooks on it. Uh, they're a little bit longer too. Um, so yeah, here's the junior versus the bigger one. So this is four and a third inch long. This is three and a half inch long. So a little bit smaller. It doesn't dive quite as deep, so this will be good around more shallow areas. Um, so yeah, that's that. So this is a 10,000 fish by Catchco. Deathstalker in the Golden Tiger. I have not thrown one of these yet. I think I have like four of them from previous mystery tackle boxes I've never gotten out to use, but it actually looks like a pretty good bait. Uh, it's got a lot of flash to it. It's got some weight on the front here, uh, so it's going to vibrate pretty well through the water, I'm going to assume. Haven't used it. Don't, you know, don't mark my words on that. But, uh, and then it's also got this nice blade on the back that's going to make a lot of flash and shine in the water. So this will imitate a bait fish really well. Next up, another great springtime bait and throughout summer is a Z-Man chatter bait. Uh, this will be an awesome bait. You throw a trailer on this, it, that blade on the front. It's basically a bladed jig, sort of. I know, yeah, it's, it's a bladed jig. All right. So you put a uh, trailer on there, the blade in the front's going to flap, cause a lot of racket down there, a lot of flash. This is a good, good representation of a bait fish. The bass will completely destroy this bait. And then uh, they also put in there a Guggen Squad Lil Juice Finesse Jig. Uh, this is an Okeechobee Craw color. This, I, I love jigs. My favorite next to drop shot actually it might beat drop shot 
my favorite way to fish is jigs. I caught 90% of my bass last year on jigs because I couldn't put it down and they kept biting it. So a uh, little, little juice finesse jig there and some trailers for it. These are the double wide chunks by Carl's Amazing Tackle. Um, these are green, pumpkin, blue, so another good color. I like, you know, like I said, I like anything that's basically a green pumpkin base and then has some cool, you know, flake in it for some reflective, you know, something that reflects off the sunlight pretty well. And that sparkles really well. It actually kind of looks like my boat, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Next up on the list, we have another box from Carl's. This is the crank box. So when I purchased this box on the website, it was $10.50. $10.50 for this box. And let me show you what comes in it. So right off the bat, we got the Carl's Thwacker. Uh, this is a sinking thwacker. It's in a crawfish color. This will be just like those Bill Lewis uh, lipless cranks. This will bounce off those rocks really well. This will be a great springtime bait uh, for smallmouth, largemouth, whatever. Awesome bait right there. Uh, next, we got the Lunker Hunt Jolt 2.5. Uh, this dives 2.5 feet. It's a floating uh, square bill. And the color on this is sassy. So that's another good like bluegill representation there. This will be a good bait also to throw. Uh, next up, we got the Yoziri square bill. Uh, that's more of a perch kind of color, but still another natural, natural color. The bass are gonna absolutely love this too. The Bomber Lures Fat Free Family. Uh, this is a shard, uh, shad truce, I should say, color. Um, this is a shallow diving. Let's see, it dives. It dives four to six feet. So it's a shallow diving uh, shad truce color. It looks more, you know, just kind of like a sexy shad color again. Uh, nice translucent. It'll reflect light pretty decent. That'll be a good bait fish looking crank to throw. And then the last bait that's in here, this is $12 alone on their website. So I bought this box for $10.50. And this bait alone is $12. And that is the Bubonic by Ketchco. Uh, this is the blue bug color. This is a, another square bill crank. Um, yeah, this, like I said, another great bait to throw. Um, you always want to have a square bill on you at all times. These things catch fish like nothing else. Um, but yeah, great shallow diving. Like I said, 12 bucks alone for this bait, and I believe that's with the Carl's um, membership. So I think it might be even a little more. Or no, I lied. It's 12 bucks without the membership. I think it's 10 bucks with the membership. So yeah, I paid 10.50 for this whole box of five cranks. So yeah, can't go wrong. All right, next, the month of April's Pro Box. We'll unbox this right now. So first off, they give you a couple cards in here that, I, these are new to me, I haven't seen these quite yet. Um, so they give you a couple cards that explain the baits, uh, tell you kind of how to fish them and stuff, and then on the back, they actually give you a map, a, just a generic map of a lake with different structures and different areas to fish to show you where and how to fish these baits. So that's that. The free sticker in every box. These are awesome. I put them on my uh, my tackle bins. Give them a little customization. And then you get the Dibbles Tips and Tricks book, which also tells you kind of how to fish these baits. Gives you some tricks, tips, just like it says. It's nice to read these. And then also, it tells you what's inside, 
along with the price of each bait if you were to purchase them on their website separately. So starting out with, uh, so they usually always send you some terminal tackle. So here this month they sent some Guggen baits. Uh, these are some worm hooks. It looks like some 3 out hammer hooks they're called. And I'm assuming with those, they sent these Big Bite Bait Swimming Craws uh, in Okeechobee Craw color. These are actually kind of a pretty sweet color. I like that. The one side's got the blue, really heavy blue flake color. And then uh, the opposite side's a, like a green pumpkin. Next up, we got the Guggen Squad Juice Casting Jig in the blue craw color. This color looks phenomenal. I can see myself catching a lot of fish on this jig right here this summer. I like that color a lot. It kind of gives me more of a like a bluegill imitation uh, or you could you know with this white and pepper flake here is kind of like a like a shad color. Next up is some Ned baits. Uh, so these are the Z-Man Hula Sticks in the California Craw color. These are an interesting Ned bait. So we got a little bit of a, let's see, a little color change on them. They're darker on one side, a little bit lighter on the other. And on the end of them, they got four little, I don't know if you'd call them tentacles. Those should be pretty good for uh, doing some net rigging, which right on the package. Have you ever tried the Ned Rig? Good way to fish. <laughs> All right, next up we've got a Jenko Fishing lipless crank. Again, a nice chrome color with a black top. Uh, yeah, black and chrome is the color on this one. Another, you know, a great reflective uh, it's going to be very, very reflective in the water. This will represent a bait fish very well. So these are, uh, it's a pack from Vertical Lures. Now, I've looked at these. I'm not exactly 100% sure yet how I'm going to fish these. But they've got four separate tentacles on the bottom. It's kind of like, a, it's almost like, a, it's like a crawfish. But up here, until this point, this is all solid actually to this point here this is all solid and then this is hollow like a tube so I kind of figured at first that I'd fish it like a tube but with this being solid up here I'm thinking more like a I'll probably use these as like a trailer on a jig or uh, maybe Texas rig they're a little bit different but I'm always I'm always open to trying new stuff so I'm excited to try this out and then the last thing in this box this is a little strange kind of big is the 13 fishing motorboat um, so this would be like a swim bait it's a swim bait that has a little propeller on the end uh, so yeah this will actually probably work pretty well uh, for bigger fish I'm sure I'll get a lot of smaller fish biting it and just getting that propeller but uh, some bigger fish will bite this. It's pretty large size, but it would represent a bait fish pretty well. It's got the bait fish or the uh, the swim bait on on there, the soft plastic, and then that will make a lot of noise and also a lot of shine. Uh, so yeah, this will actually be pretty good. It's weird but it might work. You never know. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is uh, I came across this company on Instagram, Lake House Lures. Um, so now it's uh, just one guy, I believe, and he hand, he hand pours, paints, and hand wire ties all these jigs. Um, so you can actually buy um, you can buy individual jigs or you can buy these kits like I've got here um, which come with nine jigs plus the flambo uh, and it's it's a flambo case 
So for 35 bucks, you can get a nine pack with the case, which I think is a pretty good deal. So I ended up buying two. So I got the football head jigs here, and then I bought a, a case of the flipping jigs. And then he also makes, uh, he's got uh, swim jigs and finesse jigs that he also ties up. Um, which I might be putting an order in for some finesse jigs soon. Um, but yeah, I think it's a great deal. Hand wire tied so you don't have to worry about those rubber bands breaking and losing all of your skirt. Um, just a great quality bait. I actually was using one the other day and I accidentally smacked it on the concrete wall a couple times trying to get under a bridge and it held up pretty well so I will continue to buy jigs from him. Alright so the last thing I really want to talk about here is I wanted a rod specifically for jerkbait fishing this year and um, something I didn't have an exact setup for that I wanted so I purchased a favorite white bird and uh, this rod is a six foot six medium heavy but with the white bird that medium heavy kind of plays more like a medium it's a little bit lighter than most medium heavies um, and this is a fast tip uh, I've already used it once out on the lake jerkbait fishing and it performed awesome I'm super excited to use this more because the reel that I have on it right now is not the reel that I wanted on it to begin with. It was just one I had laying around because I was waiting for this reel to show up. So this is my new reel. Uh, it's a Daiwa Fuego CT. Uh, so this is a, I think it's a hundred bucks on shop Carl's, but since I'm a member, I paid 75 bucks for this reel. Um, now I didn't want anything too crazy expensive for this setup because it was specifically for jerk bait and I don't do it that often. So, uh, the reel I have my, one of my favorite reels that I have now is actually a Daiwa Tatula CT. But that's a $130 reel, so I wasn't going to spend that kind of money on a reel for a jerkbait rod. But uh, I'm not sure if it's specifically the CT uh, line that has these, if you can see that, these grips on here are the most comfortable and best grips of any reel that I have ever used. So if you're looking for a new bait caster, I would suggest either the Fuego CT or the Tatula CT. Uh, just super comfortable reels. Uh, the, the grips are awesome. Reels are smooth as butter. I just, I cannot wait to get this on. And then I also purchased some Suffix fluorocarbon in 10 pound test, which will be going on this reel for jerk bait fishing. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I still have some more tackle actually coming in the mail. I'll probably just post it on my Instagram. I won't make a YouTube video for it. But um, yeah, I, I got some stuff coming from Reaction Innovations. I love their, their beavers that they got and uh, I got some worms and stuff coming from them too. And then some other, like I said earlier, some other stuff from Biospawn coming. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe. Uh, Tell me, you know, give me ideas for the next video. Uh, I hope you guys are staying, stay, staying safe during this quarantine. Uh, I know we're still able to fish most places here in Wisconsin. I know the DNR has shut down all of their uh, launches, but um, ones that aren't ran by the DNR are still open, I believe. Uh, the weather's just been, it's been too cold. Water temps haven't gotten up high enough yet for me to want to go out and try to catch fish it just hasn't it's too slow so i'm gonna wait until it warms up a little bit so we can really put the smack down on some fish i'm excited for this year it's gonna be a good year i can tell already um but yeah please like and subscribe and we will see you next time